Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of my Alpha 20 or Darkness Falls for Alpha 20 series. It is the morning of day what? 45? We just finished our I don't know what the hell horde that was. Um, it actually went really well. I was kind of shocked. Um, I mean, I wasn't, I wasn't. I mean, we did some good prep work over the past few days to uh, get things into shape so that we could actually survive that horde. So I feel good about that. Um, about how well we did there. Now we do have to bring some stuff back to the main base and some stuff to sell. So I'm going to do that. Uh, and then we're going to go to the trader, sell a bunch of stuff so that can stay here. Um, anything that we don't need here, I'll take back with me. We need those. That's my machete and my shovel. Let's not forget that. Um, so yeah, I'll take the that's all base stuff. Okay, cool. I gotta take the stuff to sell. Cool, man. We're gonna go to the trader. Actually, we can leave probably a ton of this ammo here. We didn't use too much. Gonna have to work on getting some ammo though, that's for sure. Or, or play it thin on some of these next hordes. That's probably what we're gonna end up having to do. Not go too, too crazy. Uh, is our junk turret reloaded here? Let's get it reloaded. We're only going to carry one with us. We could go with two, but I think that's a little overkill. I think that should do it. Taking all this stuff back with me. All that other stuff stays here. Grab all you. Grab most of you. Uh, what do we not need, really? Don't need that. Actually, this, I think... I should make a workbench and bring it over here. Um, let's leave you here. All right, that's the rest of it. Oh, we're not. We got the machete left. Let's leave the recog here, though. Don't need that to take back with us. Cool. Let's go back to the house now. I don't think we have anything in the bike, do we? No. Cool. So, fingers crossed we don't get a horde tomorrow. Uh, regardless, we need to get the base updated. Or at least repaired and partially updated. We need iron. So tonight I'm going to be staying at the horde base. I'm going to be going down into the uh, ground below and dig up as much iron as I possibly can. Um, let's just put this stuff away here first. I just heard a zombie outside. I don't know if that's the morning wandering horde or what that is. No, I think it's just a regular zombie here. Let's just get these open. We can put those in here. Nope, here. Most of this stuff is just going to go for sale here. Uh, the blood draw kit we want to keep. So those guys can go in there. Uh, you can go in there. 30 pages. Oh, we're about halfway to the next, uh, the next book there. Okay, you can go in there. None of these have dies, right? Yeah, it just sounds like a local down there. You know what? Uh, let's go check to see if Bob reset today. Um, because if his um, if his um, inventory reset, then actually we can take the die out of that. I'm not going to bother doing it right now. Uh, if his inventory resets, then Jen's resets, which means actually I take the die out of that too, which means um, we may end up being able to uh, pick up that workbench from Jen. Uh, I think that's probably good. Am I forgetting something? Oh, Porkins' a shotgun cannot get sold. And it cannot be scrapped, so let's just throw it up here. I mean, actually, you know what? Uh, we can't... If I repair it, it's going to drop in quality. Like, it would be better than the shotgun that we have. It's 26.3 damage per pellet with 8 pellets. What's this? 20.6 with all the mods in it. All right, well, it's an upgrade. Let's just do it. Um, so what can we get on this? One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. And hopefully we pick one up in the next horde. Where is it? Is that there? How many rounds? Still 12. Oh, that's fine. Let's leave the shotgun here, though. Where's our guns in here? Just in case we need to go back to that. Um, 
I did not bring stuff for repairing. Damn it. All right, let's get out of here. Oh, wait a minute. How many of these can we read? None. Fair enough. So if we get a wandering horde while we're driving today, or wherever we see it, I'm not going to bother tangling with it. I gotta watch my ammo. Um, I'll probably try and buy as much regular ammo off of Bob as I can. Uh, there's the quest we need to do for him. Yeah, we're not in quest mode right now. We've got other stuff we got to do. There's the lag spike. Hopefully it's just for Bob and not a wandering horde. I'm sure we'll find out in about 30 seconds, though. We're not taking them on in here, that's for sure. Need assistance? I do. Can I see your inventory? You restocked A46, so not quite yet. But please buy all of this stuff that I have for you. All right, well, we gained a level selling on this stuff, but he didn't buy all of it, which is fine. But we did make some good coin on that. Uh, let's get four Molotovs to replace the ones that we're down. Um, now, ammo-wise, Crucible Solar Cells. Solar Cells are no good. Um, so we find Caitlyn, that is. Buy the helicopter and just fly the fuck out of here. Buy those. Um... How much is your forged iron? 900, sure. It's only because I don't have a lot of it right now. I've been making steel as opposed to forged iron. Anything here that I want. Is that all you got? Is that all you got? I'm gonna buy those for repairing the bike with. Anything there we want. Any hazmat? Getting a lot closer. I think Master Scientist is the way that we're going to go. 38 rounds, not a lot. Man, we burned through so much ammo. Shotgun will buy. I wonder if I should go see Jen. Just buy whatever ammo she has. Nah, I mean, it's a waste of time. Alright, let's not do that. Okay, so we're good. I mean, if she's got a uh, workbench, we should be able to buy it. Now, let's go back to the house. Thanks for being here, my friend. Thanks for being here. I'm going to fuck you up. One grain alcohol. See what we got around here. No hazmats? No hazmats. All right, let's get out of here. Okay, that last horde was definitely more intense. I mean, I can make plastic as long as we get our farm going. Which I want to do after we get our horde base basically set up, um, because we can, like, we can make the uh, the cornmeal or corn, and then just use the cornmeal to make plastic parts. Cornmeal and water is easy enough. I can make glass jars, no problem. Got a few idiots over here. Let's just kill them first, um, and then electrical parts are is just. Um, Forged iron and lead. Lead's a bit more of a problem because we have to go out to the desert to get that. But I think if we get a free day just going out there and mining a crap ton of lead, it should be just fine. I mean, we went out there once so far in this series and we still have like 3,000 or so lead left over. I haven't like used a lot of it. But we will be co we will coming up. All right, let's just put this stuff away. I'm going to leave a little bit of shotgun in 7.62 here. How much gun do we have? 603. We don't have any tips though. I was going to say we should make some more 762, but let's just leave that for now. Um, that's going to be repairing the bike. Let's take the grenades over. I wonder if we can drop them. I'm pretty sure I can throw them through that, that little slot and have them drop down. Uh, we need iron. Bottlenecking us is iron. We we'll definitely have to get a lot of iron tonight. Alright, let's get out of here before a wandering horde shows up. There's another 100 concrete blocks. Actually, how much concrete do we have in here? 64, not much. Alright, we don't have a lot now. So another, another thing that's bottlenecking us is stone. 
Got 1,800. So I'll be getting a lot of that tonight too. Mm, okay. Fair enough. Let's take a little bit more of this with me. Now I can get it while I'm over there, but that's just easier to take it with me. I think that's all I need to do. I just need the extra money here though. Leave both of you guys and just take that. Okay. Well, um, might as well eat something before we go and grab some more liquid. Alright, back to the Horde base. Actually, before we go back, I'm going to hit this place up right here. This is one of those places I think Kane had added for the game. Like one of those lower level POIs. I'm interested to see, at this point now, with my game stage being where it is, what kind of zombies are in here. Plus, we can pick up some loot. I need... Ah, oh man, I need plastic and electrical parts, which I'm going to grab from here, I think. I can work on the horde base tonight. Alright, well, shotgun loaded, yep. What are we dealing with? Alright. Feral bloated walker. Just one of you up here? Yep, apparently. Alright, I'm going to pick up all this stuff. Alright, well the attic enemy, not bad. What do we get? 68 plastic? 315 cobble, so it's not too bad. Now, let's see. What we got here. Oil. Did take you apart? Can't even reach you. Alright. Do they show up when I go down? Oh. Sleeper. Wake up! That's it for these guys. Actually, I don't need the clay. One of the things that I don't need at the moment. Now, I think we're supposed to go. Is there a downstairs to here? I think so. Ooh, that's nice. Let's hope we don't get caught in here by a wandering horde. But it's any time now that that wandering horde will show up. We can beat our way out of the like, through a wall, though, if we have to. Uh, anything else? Oh, that's not bad. Scrap you. Take that. We got in here. Take those. Let's take these. Just go ahead and scrap those. Scrap these. Jars, which we don't really need, but I'm going to grab them anyway. The less resources I have to use, the better. All right, a little bit of stuff. Let's not get caught in the basement, for Christ's sake. It's locked. Not that it'll last that long. to see alright that wasn't too bad I think the second guy didn't try to come up on me right away just go ahead and use this almost got 300 health grab those alright I'm going to grab the resources down here alright not a bad amount of resources down here might be somebody in here though. Nope. Cool. We'll grab the rest of it down here.
All right, so that's not too bad either. Half decent amounts. I think we can probably just jump up here, right? And the loot room. Nice. That was easy. Well, relatively easy. Crucible, I think that was one of the things we needed too. All right, a little bit of ammo. It's going to help out. Some stuff to sell. All right, some more stuff. Ammo. Ah, three rounds. Well, I mean, it's three more than I had before, right? All right, let's GTFO. I think this place is done, I think. I'm sure there's probably something I'm missing, but I ain't doing it. Well, that was one of my hard drives um, unmounting for some reason. Well, my external drive decided to unmount itself for some reason. That's interesting. That's just a uh, drive that I have a lot of, um, like a lot of my backup files that I move back and forth to work. So if I, if it completely cacks, everything on there is actually um, elsewhere anyway. So I don't really care about it. Anyways, if that's, yeah, you know, if you got, you know, stuff that you have important, always make sure it's double backed up. Triple backed up if you can. But I got uh, all my, my video files at work are uh, double and triple backed up. So I've got um, a copy at work and I got a copy off site. So that if anything was ever to happen, that, um, I have any steel on me. It's fine. Like if the building burned down at work, all of my files are, with the exception of the most recent jobs, are backed up elsewhere. All right, let's kill these guys. So we're bottlenecked by steel at the moment. Which is not a good place to be bottlenecked. So we're going to get a lot of iron tonight. Um... All I'm making, all I'm do with it is just make some steel, a little bit of, a little bit of forged iron. Nothing. A dog over there? Yeah, it is. Oh, hey, buddy. What's happening? Come on, you fuckers, bring it all in. Um, I never did check. So we're 214 now. 4,700. So how many kills did we get last night? I don't know. It was a lot, probably. So next horde is going to be a simple one. Oh, hey, buddy. Because I don't think we can sustain what we did last time. We got steel damage on the outside. All right. Let's put you in there for now. Bring you down. Let's get these blocks repaired and replaced in here. I think once these are steel, they're going to cease to see this as a way to get to me. I think too, the blocks being hollow on the inside contributed to that, but we're going to fill that in today. So that'll be solved, I'm hoping. Let's just get these into place. Yeah, they didn't damage the block on the inside, just the one on the outside. Alright, let's get in. Oh, they did a little bit of work down here. But we had a few cops blow up down here too. Not going to replace the plates because we got to get the blocks behind upgraded to steel. Yeah, so still very minimal damage, you know. Right, of concrete. All right. Okay, now while we're here, we'll close this up. Let's go down here and deal with this issue. Um, okay, so this is all got to get repaired. 
right with the concrete I don't have on me. Uh, we've got something here. Oops. I'm not going to take the steel on me just yet because I'll end up burning it someplace I don't want to. Okay, so essentially almost... Oh, this was down to two hit points. Essentially like no damage down here at all, really. Like there's a handful. You know, but for the most part, it's pretty good. So let's just fill this in now. So we had four spider zombies in here. And Guns, Nerds, and Steel, I think his last... Like I warned him on his last uh, episode that, you know... He might end up getting um, guys inside his base. I think it's just the spider zombies that kind of glitch through. I don't think it's anything else. So the last few hordes that he's had, he didn't get anything in there because um, the spider zombies at some point just kind of stopped coming. There's not really a lot um, of spider zombies at a certain point. So where is those blocks? don't know if we'll need them. There's the steel. Alright, let's go out here. Yeah, so I mean... Pretty minimal. I mean, at some point it's going to be way worse because the idiots that are going to show up are just going to murder this place, but... Yeah, like... That's from the big boys. So we'll upgrade that. Yeah, it's pretty, um... Probably some of this out here is from me shooting. At least over there. Yeah, they weren't banging along here. Right? So we have to pick these guys up now because these guys... Shape. And we want to go with plate. Are going to be going on plates. So let's replace those. Which one's the good one? That one is. So this is the secondary what? Secondary one. Put you here. Actually, let's put it back a little bit if we can. Like that. Makes it a little closer to us. And then our good one. I'm gonna angle more towards this way. So how badly damaged is this? Oh, they did a fair bit of damage to that. Yeah, very little. Once we get the iron, once I'm digging up iron at nighttime, this damage is going to be minimal. The problem with these doors, though, is they take, they can they don't take a lot of hit points before they're destroyed. So, I mean, you just have to hope that they don't get damaged. All right, so now here. Okay. So we got to get the one under here as well. That's the stair. So they were doing a bit of damage to the stairs, but not much. They have a pretty good path. I'm going to leave it all concrete for now. The thing about this is that the more stairs there are... Do that. The more stairs there are... The less impact taking a single block out will have. Like a single stair block, that is. Okay, grab a concrete block. We're going to put plates around this too. Where is the... There it is. So, shape... Get you upgraded and then shape plates on face. Where are you? Like so. We should hopefully deter them from hitting that in theory. I should have brought my laser multi-tool. It would upgrade this so much faster. But, whatever. So we got lucky. We got no demos last horde. 
course, now that I say that, the next horde will be full of demos. The advantage to that, of course, is that we minimize the explosion damage to the cops. Alright, so that wasn't so bad. Once this is steel, it's going to re just re oops, require a lot less uh, of me upgrading. Like, repairing afterwards. Unless there's a block that's, like, severely damaged, I'm probably not just going to re... Like, I probably won't repair it. Alright, let's dig a bit more of this out, though. Okay, so that should be okay for now. But all this has to be done at some point. Actually, I should probably get... Ooh, looks like they did a bit of work here, too, eh? That was probably just angry people falling off here and then banging on the walls and stuff. I should probably do that, though. Yes, I mean, not bad. Let's just get this updated under here, too. So this is just in case we get a cop or something up there. And we knock them off. And then they blow up down here. Same thing with a demo. At least we got a little bit of protection down here for the most important parts. Alright, that should about do it for now. Okay, so what I do want to do... Let's close these up. I think that junk turret up there worked pretty well for now. I'm thinking about... Putting some angle blocks up here, though, that stick out a little bit, so we can put some lights on to point down, but I don't know yet. I'll leave it for now. Yeah, this worked out way better than I thought it would. Okay, now, um, get some repair work done. I don't think we, I don't think the electric fences took a lot of damage. Yeah, barely anything. Beautiful. Okay, so you can do gonna take you downstairs those guys can go in there that I should keep on me actually anything that I want to take home with me I should keep on me because otherwise I'm gonna forget to bring it home electrical parts we need to keep at least 20 something here make sure we have some of those we got Forged iron, electrical parts, mechanical parts, a little bit of regular iron. We'll keep that there for now, too. Nothing else that I need here? Not really. 13 more rounds. Okay. Let's get down below. I should have brought my, uh... Damn. Should have brought my cobblestone blocks. Now, there's a bunch of iron right here. This is where the iron node was. The problem with digging this out... ...up here... ...is that the, um... ...spider zombies could still glitch into here. You know what? I think I am gonna go home. No, I'll save that for tomorrow. God, I gotta decide. Put these down here for now. We do have cobblestone up here, right? So let's copy the shape here. Because I think I can just upgrade the immediate ones I need to cobblestone, and then we'll fill in all those holes that I just made. Yeah, I do. I'll fill in all these holes a little later. But for now, we can do these guys. Just for a little bit of extra stability. Let's get down here. Alright guys, so I've got a sizable amount of iron already. I'm going to keep going down just down to bedrock. i got to avoid calling it a screamer here too because like... I don't think this is like really the safest place to be if a screamer shows up. But I'm going to close up 
Yeah, it's closed already. I closed both of those. And then I'm gonna leave this guy right here. Because I can hear the junk turrets going. So if I hear a bang, I'm gonna probably come up the ladder. And then hopefully the turret just takes care of her. But anyways, I'm gonna leave the episode here. I'm at almost the time for a screamer. It's usually when I get three stacks that a screamer shows up. So hopefully we don't get one. Um, but yeah, I'm going to leave the episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please don't forget to subscribe. And please drop any comments in the comment section down below. Tomorrow we're going to go visit the traders and hopefully get some more concrete and some steel worn. Until next time, we'll see you later.